delegates. The resolution, which I am sure will be carried by acclamation, goes like this. The Australian Labor Party acknowledges that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples are the first peoples of Australia and have sustained spiritual beliefs, cultural and ceremonial, ceremonial practices on their traditional estates. In the true spirit of reconciliation, the Australian Labor Party affirms its equal partnership with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples for the ongoing custodianship and maintenance of land and sea country throughout this nation. National Conference commits Labor to the 2018-2020 Reconciliation Action Plan. For Labor, reconciliation and recognition is about ensuring that First Nations people have the same rights, opportunities and outcomes for every other, as every other Australian. These goals have eluded us as a nation for more than two centuries. It is time for that to change and Labor wants to lead that change. Reconciliation and recognition is about acknowledging and celebrating the unique place of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders as the first inhabitants and custodians of Australia. We are home, everyone, to one of the oldest surviving cultures on earth. This is something that we can all take pride in. Reconciliation and recognition is about acknowledging the truth of our history, the wrongs that have been committed against First Peoples and not shying away from our historical pain. Without truth, there can be no healing. Reconciliation is about building relationships and about listening. Above all, it is about taking action to tackle disadvantage and inequality. It's about introducing practical measures to close the gap in health, housing, education, employment, and life expectancy. To achieve these outcomes and create a truly reconciled nation, First Nations people must have a say in all of the decisions that affect their lives. Labor is committed to ensuring that First Nations people have a voice entrenched in our constitution. The Reconciliation Action Plan sets out practical measures to give First Australians a voice in our party, in our parliament and in our society. It outlines Labor's commitment to come together with First Nations people and work towards equality and a reconciled and just nation. The Reconciliation Action Plan outlines a comprehensive strategy for ensuring, for ensuring First Nations people are actively supported to participate in our party, our parliament and our nation. The Reconciliation Action Plan focuses on building relationships, respect and opportunities. It identifies a range of practical measures that Labor will adopt to ensure that First Nations people have more opportunities to be involved in our party at every level. By implementing the Reconciliation Action Plan, Labor will ensure we are constantly building our understanding of the issues that affect First Nations people, e equality and aspirations and developing practical ideas for achieving change. As outlined, delegates, the Reconciliation Action Plan, Labor will ensure we are constantly building our understanding and, AL and the ALP's National Executive will have responsibility for the oversight and reporting of the RAP. Can I thank Mark, Boyd, Malandiri and First Nations Caucus, Reconciliation Australia, our leadership and comrades, I commend this resolution to the conference.